Dungeons and Dragons. And Junk Drawer. Hi. Hello. Oh my god. It's so nice to see you. It's been so long. How are you? How are the kids? <laughs> This is creepy. <laughs> I don't like where this is going. Yeah. Uh, what's up, guys? Oh, you're fine, so, buddy. No, no, you're we're, there, uh, we're back. <laughs> I saw the two hand and I, I like, shivered a little bit. I was buster, like, I don't buster, like buster. that. He's got a very warm touch and it felt nice. So, ladies. <laughs> ladies. <laughs> or, um, or dudes. You never know. Yeah, it's 2019. Whatever. He's Josh got a man bun. He likes or, to have it pulled on, probably. We're non-binary. We don't, we don't judge. <laughs> yeah, we do. Uh, so, last session, uh, we <laughs> traveled from Argon Vostholz to the front of the Amber Temple. We haven't even gotten inside yet. We yeah. encountered a new friend and ally, Thok. Uh, he is already one of Rufio's favorite people because he made sure dirt didn't die. Um, for the first time, Absidy used, uh, in, in the group, without anyone noticing, but in the group, used his powers given to him by Lucifer. Um, and we destroyed... Four, five, five vampire spawn. Five, five vampire spawn, mm -hmm. and uh, now we need to take a break because everybody's hurting a little bit. So you can either attempt to do a long rest or a short rest. I think short rest is probably. How the does way. Uh, that necro damage work? Necrotic damage, and as far as like what? where our our hit points, our max hit points are lowered. So I believe they get re. Isn't it long rest? I think, I think it's, it's a long, long rest. rest. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then I think a long rest might be best. It's the middle of the day. Yeah, what time is it? I don't think it's I... About we, he it's said we got there at midday. midday. Yep. So, I mean, I would we assume it's like for one. An hour at least. I would say it's like one or two. Yeah. So, yeah, well, I, I mean, think it's too early to take a long rest. <clears throat> my only What are you down to? I'm down to 52 health. And my max is 74. So, like three quarters. Yeah. yeah, I'm down to 46 as opposed to 58. I mean, we can do... I want to do a short rest at least to get, like... Our HP back up. Back up yeah, but the max that my have. HP can get back up to now is 57. So 57 as opposed to 74. I think we needed to traverse the temple. Yeah, I mean, I, we I really do. Realistically, we wouldn't go to sleep. Yeah, we wouldn't. We wouldn't take a long rest right now. Is I don't there think. Is to rest anyways? Like? I mean, we could. I guess we could rest out in front, but we are. We just got attacked by five. Let me give you a little bit better description of the front. So the road fades away under a under a covering of snow. But it takes you far enough to see the facade of some kind of temple carved into the sheer mountainside ahead. Uh, the front of the structure is 50 feet high and six alcloves. Uh, mm -hmm. I can't see with your hand. Uh, <laughs> containing 20, uh, containing 20 foot tall statues. So those are what those little six carved in the front. Uh, I had gargoyles, I think, on the battle map itself. Um each statue is carved from a single block of amber and depicts a faceless hooded figure, its hands pressed together in a gesture of prayer. Between the two innermost statues is a 20-foot tall archway with a staircase leading down. Hmm. I think we need to start getting inside. <coughs> I'm just saying, that Absidy from... and I are a little weak right now, so... Dirt, how are you? Um... I'm a little shaken up. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, but um, I'm better. Uh, first of all, Thok, thank you for helping with fear. Uh, second, Casimir, what the fuck was that? And you see Casimir, and he's wiping his brow, and he's like, "I'm sorry, I locked, I locked up. I just, uh, I got uh, war flashbacks. Flashbacks from what?" When I first stormed the castle, points at his face. I mean, if you're going to do that, you're, you're going to be no help in here whatsoever. I won't be a hindrance. It won't happen again. Dirt, how do you feel about waiting outside? I can, um, Dirt kind of looks around. I think I can kind of find some kind of cover and kind of hide out. Just seeing you go down was concerning. I don't know what we're going to run into in there, and I'd prefer to not have to worry about you. No, I, I understand. Um, but, <clears throat> just, sorry to interject here, but that means you're leaving him out here by himself. Dirk can handle himself. Not out if, here. Not if another five vampire spawns show up. I mean, if he has to go inside, he can come <clears throat> inside, but... 
I'd rather him find a an area and at least lay low. Honestly, it's up to you. I mean, I think it's a better idea if he stays with us, but that's not my decision to make. Before before we move on, let me take care of all of us seem to have taken at least some form of beating. If you want to take about 10 minutes, I can take care of all of us at once. Yeah. You, Please. 10 minutes? Okay. Yeah. I cast Prayer of Healing for okay. level 4. Oh, nice. Okay. So it'll be 10 minutes of just me praying. Mm-hmm. Does that get rid of our... I'm going to uh, pray as well. Um, it's a, No, it would be a long rest. It, <clears throat> okay, so that's still... That only gives me 5 hit points. 48 okay. plus 4. I'm also going to pray again, shoot, trying to get Raven Actually, contact. that'll give me my temp back. Okay. So... That's 20 hit points for everybody? 20, okay. So, you see Thok kind of kneel down to his knees, and you see him breathe in out through his mouth as this light... I wouldn't say it's radiant, but it's it's this kind of grayish light as you start feeling this... Your wound's starting to heal. As he continues to to mutter in this in this ancient tongue, um, I'm still going to try to take my my short rest, but okay. I'm just going to do it to get my my pack slots back. Okay. Uh, yeah. So that's thirty minutes. Yeah, yeah, about thirty minutes. Um, <clears throat> as you do this, Dirt's kind of just walking the perimeter, and uh, he kind of comes back and he goes, uh, "I think I found something, a place where I can hide, but I." I think I hear voices inside. Wait. What kind of... So he kind of gestures you over, and there to the side here on the left is this... Uh, a natural fissure has opened up in the mountainside uh, west of the temple's facade. It creates a gap that's about two feet wide, ten feet tall, and fifteen feet deep. Uh, you see a light coming from a room beyond, and you hear uh, human voices. They're muffled, but you can hear voices inside. Can I, like... See if I can hear what they're saying. Uh, sure. Just go ahead and I'm roll. I'm not going to move in, but... Roll a uh, perception. 16. You just hear kind of just... Uh, it's very muffled, so you just hear like the low registers of a couple of voices, a slightly higher register. It's just... It sounds like muffled garbage at this point. Uh, is there like a door, an entryway? Like what's the... Uh, it's just, it's like this little tiny kind of crack. <coughs> okay. On the side of the mountain. Uh, just interjecting here. Sure. Uh, D&D Beyond, I do have this. That pops up for my character for recover. Look, go oh. back. What is it? Uh, it I, it gives me an option to uh, reset my maximum HP on short rest. There you go. So, just tossing that out there. Okay. So, I mean, if that's a oh. thing. Yeah, I mean, I have that too. I think we all have it. Do you? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but I think it's reset. Oh. I don't. I think that's under specific conditions. Oh, I mean, I would, it's up to you. It's no, your because yeah, the not the the necrotic comes back after a long. It gets recovered after a long rest. Okay, so necrotic just just doesn't work on a short rest. Correct. Gotcha. Okay, that's why I'm checking. Okay. Um. Do we see a way how to get in or how to see who's in there? Or? Uh, not really. <clears throat> That's not... It's not the temple, right? It's 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 removed it's, no, from that? Yeah, this is removed from the temple. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to call out. We're just and going to just uh, ask hello and, and, and who's who's in there. Okay. As you do so, you hear like... Mm. Mm-hmm. 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 And after a, a few minutes, as you speak and you kind of wait, out comes out. It's not expecting this so soon, <laughs> but okay. <clears throat> you see all clad in different kind of leathers. You see this very toned uh, woman kind of peek her head out. And she has a battle axe in her hand that's just coagulated with blood. And she kind of peers out, and are you going to attempt to try to sneak away from her or stealth uh, from her? No, or? I'm going to gonna just put my hands up and be like, we're here to, uh, to, we have a mission to go through the temple. 
uh, and there's one of us that's a little younger and we don't want to go inside. And you just see, like, you can see that you're talking to her, but there's no kind of, like, um, register over her face as she grunts and she, you see her dash back inside. Okay. What was that? Uh, don't really know. She grunted at me. Uh, I think we're friends now. Oh, Shard, do you speak grunt? Uh, what animal was it? It was a woman. <laughs> then she was, no. Was she, was she a fox? Uh, she was, she was pretty ripped. No, that doesn't help me. It doesn't work? Okay. <laughs> uh, co- what it, comprehend languages? I can't speak it. I can't. I, How long, uh, would you say this interaction in general is? A couple seconds. A couple of seconds? Yeah. I mean, you, you spoke at her and there was a register across it. Uh-huh. I mean, you have the comprehend languages, so if she barked at you, yeah. you'd be able to understand her, but she didn't say anything. Uh, I'm going to, to like go back to the area again and just kind of be like uh did can, can we leave the little one as with you is that <laughs> as you're like talking in this crack you hear the the those low registers speaking with the higher register and you slowly hear them fading from that room cool 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 uh all right well gonna- so <laughs> as you're all like well, you gonna let anyone know what's uh, what's going on, baby? Those, those people are leaving now. Uh, so, dirt, you're coming with us. Great. Uh, so as you as you all convene, you see this woman in that armor, and behind her are five of those mud covered wild men, all with their different axes, and behind them is a red eyed, massive dire wolf. You can go ahead and roll a perception to see if you know this particular wolf, or if you want to talk to said wolf. That is a 13 on perception. Okay. Uh, not a wolf you recognize. And uh, I will cast Speak with Animals. Okay, go ahead and cast it. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> cast it at will. <laughs> okay, so what are you going to say? What pack are you from? The pack of my master. Who's your master? The great one. (laughs) Which great one? I hear there's quite a few. The devil. The devil? Well, damn. (laughs) We got one of those. Am I I getting this? Am I... Well, they're they're speaking aminals. We're speaking it's wolf. not it's not like a language. I didn't know. I was that's why I was asking. It's woof. Okay. <clears throat> Dork helmet doesn't help with animals. Heard. <laughs> you heard? We're here on a mission to destroy the devil of uh, this land. Not your devil. <gasps> a different devil. You do not harm Strat. <laughs> oh, good job, Mike. <laughs> In that case, we might have some disagreements. You see him pull his ears back, and he grits his teeth and you see the five berserkers grip their axe and see how we do uh. <laughs> Thok what are you doing you're just kind of hanging out uh yeah I was, I'm gonna just be at the ready to swing in that case was... I'll just have my mace at hand Mike okay. did you forget that he's called the devil strahd <laughs> cause I don't understand oh, no he said the he said the great one which then he said the devil <laughs> strahd <laughs> so as you Thok as you move this ram pelt and it kind of billows behind you and you take your mace out and you grit your teeth. One of them puts their hand out and he goes, uh, Zagzor. And all of them kind of stop and you see that clutch kind of like let go and you would understand this and he goes, that green, the yellow one. You're green or yellow? It's like this. It's, it's like yellow. a greenish. Okay. It's like a greenish. The yellow one. Slain Zagzor. And the other one goes, impossible. He has been guarding the gate for so many years. And you see the, the lead kind of berserker. He puts his axe down and he goes, this man beats Sangzor. We have no business here. And you see them reclutch. The gladiator is ready to go. And you see that one berserker put her hand, his hand on her shoulder. And she lets up. 
Uh, what what just happened? So you know who this was? That is, uh, yes. The great mighty Ram of the West. He was sent to me by your god, I guess? Strahd? Whoever you worship? We do not worship Strahd. Well, he was sent to kill me by Strahd. That sounded like Sangzor. And you see one of them just kind of... Poof, and then the, all the others kind of follow suit. Meanwhile, the dire wolf is just locked eyes with Shark because you threatened his master. But the berserker kind of pulls him down. We will promise blood and fight. But you fight Zangzor. You wear his pelt. Therefore, you are part of pack. And they kind of just sit. Dirt. <laughs> <laughs> what's what's your next step what was your mission no mission we were promised for safety we would fight we know no better we live fight well we are seeking safety for one of our own at least temporarily pup with facial hair <laughs> and gestures over at absidy me no not that one the Wait, what pup. What language is this in? This is in, like, a berserker. But it's in, like, broken common. Okay. P- pup with no facial hair. For you, we watch. If anything is to harm him, you are to protect him. Understood. And you see the, the one that's clutching the dire wolf kind of twist, and you see... <clears throat> that will not be a worry. Do you know of anything else in here that could do us harm? Many things. I have an ability to speak inside your mind. If we need help, will you run in, but keep one of your own to watch him? Yes. Out here. Very well. So if you hear my head, my voice in your head, do not freak out. We just, we just may need assistance. Understood. Okay. Uh, awesome. <laughs> Let's and do that. What, that. What's, what's your name? Um, I don't have any berserker okay. names. They kind of have grunts as Berserker names. one. <laughs> berserker one. Leader Berserker. It's going to be great on his IMDb The profile. Berserker. <laughs> yeah. And they kind of just usher Dirt. They start making a small fire in that dire uh, wolf. As, just... dirt, as Dirt's going by, I'm going to, like, mouth, like, if you need something, message. Okay. Yeah. No, I'm praying now. Like a lot. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I didn't think you'd get there so fast. <laughs> um, okay, so going into the entrance? Yes. Yeah. So, okay, as we go through, icy steps descend 10 feet to a time-ravaged hall- hallway with uh, different kinds of markings in the wall. Uh, beyond the hall lies a vast, uh, I don't know how to say that word, uh, just a vast darkness. If we're looking for stuff, we should probably do that. That's Sorry. a hint. <laughs> uh, perceptions? <laughs> yeah, you can roll perceptions for me. Everybody? Yeah. 16. It's not use you. What's you? 6. You 17. 24. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> yes. You're useful. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have a plus you 7. You feel so many I needs. Plus 7. Wow. <laughs> Perception. Okay, as you look through, uh, you see on the sides that there are arrow slits in the walls. So, uh, I'm going to... Oh, is that something you'll convey to us? Oh, yeah. Like, I tell you to stop, and then I point them out. Okay. Uh, I will cast Unseen Servant. Okay. And I will send him uh, 20 feet ahead of us. Okay. As he does, none. And to the right and to the left, there are two rooms past the arrow slits. So you have that uh, Do we see any trigger on the floor? You can roll a uh, check for traps for me, which I think is your perception plus uh, proficiency. Because you a rogue. Check for traps. I don't like that. Uh, 11. Um, Yeah, you don't see anything. Why not have... But we see the slits. I take take a couple ball bearings. Sure. And just like chuck them down one at a time like marbles. And as you do, ping, ping, ping. 
ping, ping, this raining of just clacking as you guys see Absy throw these ball bearings down and there's no kind of consequence. And I sent the unseen servant as well. He walked, so... Mm-hmm. Should be safe. I don't have a good experience with arrows, so I am not going to be <laughs> the first gone. one to walk in there. Uh, I'm also going to cast... Uh, I'm going to do a disguise self. I'm going to turn my uh, my fur coat, the outside mm-hmm. one, to look like his ram. Okay. Just because that seemed beneficial. Sure. <laughs> so I'm just going to use that for that. <coughs> uh, I'll take, uh, I guess, two steps forward. Okay. As you do, you kind of line yourself up. You're ready to get hit. Nothing. Nothing. Right. You have two rooms to your left and your right. Uh, I'll send I'll send the uh, unseen servant into the left room. Okay. And tell him if there's anything in there to bring it out. Okay. Where are we? Is this where we are? Yeah. Let's yeah. So you're in the right. stairwell. So yeah, you're like a rep there. Um, oh, Casimir's leading the way. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Go on Casimir. Yeah. Um, He's not squishy at all. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, the your servant comes empty-handed. Okay. Uh. I'll walk down and I'll go in the room myself. Okay, to the right one? Uh, Whatever one he went in. <coughs> the one he went in? Yeah. Okay, so you go in. That room's about. It just looks like the, it's a guard room. There's just, uh, you see the arrow slits where the barracks are, where if someone was there, they would have crossbows there, centered and ready. Got it. So I, it's, it's, there's nothing in there. You can roll perception. <laughs> Great. Uh, 18. 18, let me see here. Um... You see, as you look um, to the far end of the wall, you see a slight slit in the wall. Can I walk up to it and see what's going on? Yeah, going you down. kind of run your hands upon it and you hear a click and the wall kind of swivels and it opens up to a empty barrack of shared bits of wood that cover the floor of this frigid 20-foot square room. And there's nothing inside the room? It's about, I mean, the ceiling's about 10 feet high uh, and then you just see kind of like... The remains of guard bunks. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll come out then and just be like, nothing. What was it? Uh, it looked like old guard chambers. <coughs> Do you think all four are the same? Mm, maybe. It's it's very possible. I didn't see any arrows behind there either. The guard would typically be back there with some crossbows. So we might be okay to this point. And I'll send the unseen servant into the next. I have him for an hour, by the way. Okay. Uh, I'll send him into the next room to the right. And again, if there's anything in there. He has a strength of two. Okay. If there's anything of note in there to bring something. The arrow slits were right here, right? Along with the doors? Yeah. Okay. So it takes a little bit, and the unseen servant comes back with a very long wand. Wand. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Are, the, are the other two doors locked? Uh, no, they were, they're kind of open. They're they're going into that guard barracks. All right. Well, the other two doors are like, okay, this is taking too long. And I just use thaumaturgy and slam them open. Slam them open. Slam the doors open. Yeah. There's. <clears throat> Which ones are you open? Uh, so, the last the last two. So it's it's the same ones to it. So you're okay on that because these are the same room. Oh, okay. Well, we only went in one of the rooms, right? No, he just he went, went in. Oh, it was only one door on each side? Yeah. There's two, oh, okay. there's two, there's doors. two doors on each side. Okay. And whatever doors weren't open. Yeah. So. Someone is a little anxious. I don't blame him. I just want to know why in the world Strahd sent me here. Okay. I'm not a patient. That's what we're all wondering. All right. So we're going inside the main chamber. Yeah. Okay. So move Casimir up there. Okay. How's Casimir looking? (laughs) He's looking fucking spoopy, spooped out. Uh, a 20 foot finished. wide balcony oh. of black marble with a shattered railing overlooks a vast temple black marble staircases at each end of the balcony to send 30 feet to the temple floor the vaulted ceiling is 30 feet above the balcony the walls on the ceiling are covered in an amber glaze lending the gloom of a golden sheen a set of amber doors stands closed at the west end of the balcony and a similar path uh, a similar pair stands open to the east so it looks like it's excuse me At the uh, base of the stairs? 
So when you go down the stairs, so they descend. That's why they're kind yeah, of Yeah, like but oh, there's doors leading into the... Yeah. Okay. Uh, and then give me your uh, pers- passive perceptions. 14. Mm-hmm. 11. 11. Okay. Um, that means we're 22, right? Yeah. Matt. <laughs> Power. That's how. It works. Oh, I'm sorry. These two are our doors. Oh, those are the doors you were talking about. Yes, yeah, not the ones down there. Okay. So, but with your your passive perceptions, you can see light under the the walls of here. And here. Okay. So. We... So assuming that there there are other rooms. <laughs> All right, gentlemen. I point out the lights. Okay. Where, where do we want to go? You lead, I follow. Do we want to clear up top before we go down low? I mean, isn't aren't they're they're both up top, aren't they? This is up top. This whole thing's downstairs. Got it. Up and top, and then work our way down the like light we normally do. Is downstairs. The lights are downstairs. The lights okay. are downstairs. So yeah, we'll clear we'll clear the top area first. Oh. Uh-huh. <clears throat> what I'm seeing is over to our right. Looks like it's already open. Mm-hmm. I say that that might be the safer bet than going through what's closed over there. Yeah. Just, uh, but. We have to be careful going through everything. Just for shits and giggles, give me a second, and I'm going to scan the room and cast, uh, or use Eyes to the Grave okay. again to see if I can ping any undead in okay. the area. Pinging undead? Let me see what they're classified as. <laughs> it's a dungeon. There's Good. stuff in here. Come on, guys. Yo. They're classified as friends. <laughs> Maybe friends to you. <laughs> Lucifer. I can do this two more times. <laughs> I have Divine Sense, so I can, I can also get it, so... We're good. I, I can do that four good. more times. Well, yeah, we can just alternate. Trade back and forth. We'll trade back and forth. And Dirk does it too. Yeah, but, but he's, he's not outside. here. He's, he's outside. He's much. <laughs> he is dead now. He's making new friends. You said undead. <laughs> yes. Uh, you can get the number of them, or you can just get a vibe that there are um, the different. Uh, it says D and D Beyond. Um, as an action, you look. Uh, you know the location of any undead within sixty feet. Within sixty within feet. Within sixty feet. Gotcha. Um, okay. If it, isn't behind, if it isn't behind total cover or isn't protected by any divination magic until the end of my next turn. So okay. six seconds. So you are getting a undead vibe from her? <laughs> upstairs. Oh, sick. Or downstairs. That's a downstairs? That's the... Uh, that's upstairs. upstairs. No, that's under that, that light source oh. that you guys oh, were okay. Yeah, so it's downstairs. So downstairs. So is there an upstairs and downstairs yeah, up this, here? This yeah, so, this stuff is upstairs. Because the, the map is so janky. So, sorry, this is upstairs. This whole level down here is down. Uh-huh. It looks like this piece here is a balcony. So everything here in this kind of vicinity is down. Everything up here is upstairs. Okay, that's okay. what I thought. So, we'll so go with she's that. upstairs to the left. Upstairs to the left. Yeah. Okay. Well, no, he said that was downstairs. No, it's no, up. that's upstairs. Oh, sorry. Everything on the outside is upstairs. Gotcha. Everything in the middle is The way that it's drawn downstairs. up is just Yeah, it's yeah. swanky. Uh, so I... Uh, is that the only thing? Uh, I'm double checking. It's the only thing you got. So far. <laughs> uh, so I'll send the servant in through the right side and just to clear it. And I'll tell him to... Uh, if there's anything in there, uh, like people-wise... Through the... Through okay. the right side. Uh, mm-hmm. If there's anything in there as far as people... Uh, stay in there, and if there's not, then come back unless uh, unless there's like a thing, an item, and then bring it out. Okay. So basically, you're just having them sweep that whole yeah, that whole little Jesus area. Christ. Okay. Well, up to up, I can't let him send him past sixty feet or he dissipates. So like, do like a thirty square block and then okay. come back. Um, and it's force. So like, when he walks, there's actual pressure put on. Got it. In case there's like, like a pressure points. trap. Yeah. Okay, uh, so moving to the southeast annex, we have one hit point. <laughs> oh, oh God. Yeah, it's got one hit point, an AC of 10, and a strength of 2. Badass. Yeah. Comes back. Okay, uh, I guess we'll, do we want to go to the right then? Might as well. <laughs> I wonder why only one side has been opened. I don't know. It could be a trick. Can the, can your unseen servant talk? Uh-uh. No. Uh-uh. Mindless, shapeless. It's just kind of. It's just kind of like a blob. It's just a blob. Yeah. I mean, it could be a trick, or it could be someone's gone through there before, that's and what I'm that's thinking. why the doors are open. You know. And we know 
Did you tell us that you sensed it? Yeah, it's over to the left. Um, give or take about 30, 40 feet away. I, mean, I, can't, I can't tell what it is. Right. But just know that it's undead. You just know that it's undead. And if that's the case, at some point, I have to take it out. Uh, well, we know something else is over there. Do you think something used to be on this side? Maybe there was a dead body that we should investigate? So you said your unseen servant said saw nothing. He didn't see anything, so we Do came you want back. To scan the area, see if you can find anything of use, and if not, run back. Come this way. Uh, yeah, I can go. Uh, I'll go with him. I'll go in through the doorway, and then I'll okay. send him the full the sixty feet that I can, and then I'll come with you, back you up. Okay, okay. I'll wait here. So you're going this way? Yeah. Okay. So as you go in. Uh, this room is a is featureless except for a rough edged ten foot diameter circular hole in the floor to the east and an empty torch sconce along the walls. Double doors of amber stand open to the north and west, and a single closed door lies just south of the western set of double doors. So it looks let's see here. So you have the hole here, and then you have your doors here and here. There's a, <coughs> a hole. Yeah. Like a, There's a ten foot like hole. Like an alcove. Oh, uh, what's the lighting situation like in here? Is it dark? It's pretty dark. Okay, I'll take out uh, the uh, moonlit blade or the moon blade. Yeah, uh, haunted moon, moon touched longsword. Sure. Uh, and just use that as light okay. for now. Uh, do I see anything in the alcove? Uh, you look down and uh, you just see a lower level to the to the temple. I don't want to go too far from them. No, I agree. Uh, I also have dark vision, so I can. I mean, see I can't pretty far. see anything. So yeah, I'm just saying I can see at least sixty feet ahead. And then that well. that we see that door up there, but it's closed. Um, let me see here. No, it's open. It's open. Mm -hmm. Do you want to go check out that room? Yeah, let's go. All right, we'll walk and we'll go into this. Okay. Room. So right. as you move, so you guys are <laughs> and you screamed as well. Uh, I was just like, scream if you need anything. <laughs> okay, so you yelled at them. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Murder. <clears throat> cool. Do you want to send the servant in there first? Yeah, I'll send the I'll send the unseen servant through. Okay. And d again, tell him stay if there's something in there. Don't come back or come back if there's not. <laughs> so, Abzi, you're closest to the the hallway. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So as you are sitting there and you watch them kind of go and you see the uh, the dim light kind of go away, uh, away with the sword. Uh, go ahead and roll a perception for me. <laughs> That's a good face. Three. <laughs> <laughs> good. Uh, you. Um, You're safe. <laughs> you. you see, uh, the minute you kind of see that moon uh, light fade, you see a odd green light kind of show up and pass. Like, like walk across. You kind of just see the the light, and you see what seems to be fire, green fire, kind of move towards where they were. You just don't know how. So like following uh, them. Thok, did you see that? Did I see that? There was some green fire or something. I, I don't know. But it just followed Rufio and Shart. Hmm. Huh. I start making my way towards the door. Dope. <laughs> so got... Start walking. Oh, good. Uh, oh, they gonna surprise Absidy and Shart. Or, or Rufio. Rufio. Shart. Uh, Rufio and Shart. <sighs> How did I mix that up? Well, you're very drunk. They're very, they're very <laughs> similar. So I'll tell you, Vanath had enough. They look very similar. Okay. I just want to pull that up. This is what. Never gonna get it. Three, never gonna get it. High whoa, 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 yeah, two foot high difference. Yeah, it's pretty, at least it's yeah, pretty at least. Substantial. <laughs> pretty significant height. I'm a little guy. Um, is that mean? Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, I mean, no. Whichever one makes you not do it. I need both of you to make duck saving throws. Which I have danger sense, so I make that at advantage. Danger sense. Danger sense. Which might be beneficial. Oh, eight. Okay. Teen. <laughs> Hundred. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> I've never been touched. <laughs> Seventeen. Oh. oh, that's so I'm sad. Doing the wrong one. Okay. Warrant. So let me pull them up because I have them as well here. Don't worry, I got my damage already up. 
I'm ready. You're not. I'm ready. Oh, God, you're not. I'm um, so ready to die. Excuse <laughs> me. <coughs> okay, so you got eight, you got... 17. 17, okay, so short, you're, you succeeded. Um, obviously, you did not succeed. You're only going to take 400 points of damage as opposed to my 1,200 points of damage. Your math isn't good. That's not half. <laughs> oh, great. Oh, no. Oh, gross. <laughs> okay. Uh, Shart, with your den- danger sense, the hairs on the back of your head kind of stand up. But as you turn around, you just see a floating spectral skull just engulfed in flame as it... And it just lets out this giant fire bolt, ball blast. Um... You're going to take 13 points of damage, of fire damage. Uh, Rufio, you're going to take 20 CX. Yeah, yeah, I need you guys to roll initiative. Everybody? Everybody. Everybody. Maybe we'd be as good as last time. It's not horrible. Nine. Nine. (laughs) Noise. I'm just, I'm rolling three D20s at the same time. It's just, it's easier. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to do... Okay. I'm just going to color code them real quick. Now, I'm just trying to double check because one of my things that I got with my last level up. Mm-hmm. Um, so, uh, if you are surprised at the beginning of combat but not incapacitated, you can act normally on your first turn um, if you enter a rage before doing anything else. So, what <laughs> would, if, if I didn't rage right away, which I'm totally planning on doing, mm-hmm. uh, <laughs> what would happen? Let me look Since here, we're surprised. I, surprised. Um, I mean, he already had a, a. That was an opportunity attack. So, Basically. I mean, that was already a, technically the surprise round. Yeah. Well, no, but that, that's that's what I was asking is because we would t- if we are surprised, it, that's essentially implying that there would be a, a status to us for being surprised. Yeah, but that, the the status that we got for being surprised, you already thought put off because you get to roll dex at advantage. That's a different thing. No, I, it so, is, but it's not in this scenario because he got a surprise attack on us, and that's a de- he's not engaged. Like it's basically he wasn't in combat with us. It's basically if it was a case of like if there was an attack roll I needed to make to hit an AC, mm-hmm. a surprise is at advantage. Gotcha. Okay. But because it was a spell, it's an auto kind of hit. Okay. I'm mm-hmm. just asking. I'm no. trying to clarify what my new things are. No, you're okay. Um, let me see here. Because you were doing the saving throw as opposed to gotcha. him okay. doing yeah. a, an attack. I'm like, so half. I'm gonna. Hold you're on. a half, so I'm gonna put you at. Yo! Orange. 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 Orange, you glad that we did this? No, no, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you at as far as your health goes? Uh, 51. Uh, uh, well, uh, since I'm still temporarily low, uh, 57. Because I, ha- I got my temporary back from what he did, yeah. so. So I was at 64. We got blue here, white, and so that way I can just kind of cool, 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 gauge. Cool, 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 so we've cool, got. Cool. I'm just gonna put W B L B. Okay, so I'm just gonna chuck that because I don't need this for now. Move on. Okay, so 15 or higher. 15. Okay. 15. Okay, so we've got... I have horrible decks, though. <laughs> so that one is first, and then Thok and Shard are going on the same turn. Okay, um, and then... That one. Okay, uh, 10 or... Anything that's 10 or higher. Cool. What about Casimir? Oh, I didn't even roll for Casimir. That's what I'm here for. Forgot about Good that. Call. Good He's call. still scared. Initiative at disadvantage. <laughs> um, five or higher. Nine. Nine. <laughs> Twins. <laughs> Everybody attacks at the same time. Fifteens and nines. Yeah, hey, how about that? Did you look at the ad? <laughs> yeah. Uh, and we're like switch flip-flopped. We're like diagonal and they're together. So oh my god, Warlocks nine, and half orcs. 915. What? No, it's 15. 15. No, no, yeah, here, but, though. Because we see eye to eye because we're half orcs. 
That's what it is. <laughs> it's a better race. Is it? We're the superior. Oh, race. so you're saying that one race is better than the well, other? Well, when you're four foot tall, yeah. You can't say, <laughs> dude, you can't say superior. Race. Uh, okay, so Your it Hitler's is getting all over. <laughs> That's a yikes hard lemonade. <laughs> um, so we're going to start with Flame Skull White. Yeah. He's going to do another fireball. So you two make deck saving throws. Yeah. Me and Nazi, or wait. Wait, which two? Which two? You two. You two, because you're in the hallway. Oh, wait, that's no, it's not me. Cool. So me and Nazi. That's... No, because White's going first. Nice. Shasimir. Oh, good. <laughs> that's a, oh. Doing all right? Good. That's a six. <laughs> did you say an advantage? I did not. Mm, okay. Did you get <laughs> ten? Okay. Ooh. So no one made it. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, yes, go. Casimir oh, didn't do it either. Come save us. <laughs> He's like, hey, what's going on, guys? Um... Bring the bear army. You can't just reshake it. It's because um, some of them are stacked. You need to chill. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like me to, to reshake? No, no, that's fine. I'm just saying shake, you can't normally. Hey, three of you guys take 33 points of fire damage. Are you kidding me? Oh, wait. I'm, Fuck you. I'm fire resistant. <laughs> oh, you're fire resistant? My, my ring. So half it. What is it? 33 divided by two. And I always round. He rounds up. Rounds 17. 17. So 18. Oh, yeah, 17. Yeah, 17. Sorry. Uncanny dodge. Go ahead. 17. Casimir's gonna go. Uh. <laughs> Casimir's dead. I think I've had this ring for about a year and a half, like in real time, and this is the first time that it's actually isn't that cool? Been beneficial. <laughs> Would you look at that? You just needed to join our campaign <laughs> right? to make it worth it. Yeah, we get flamed a lot. <laughs> Thank yeah. God I have a ring of fire resistance. Okay, that so. Uh, this is this is hurting me. Uh, so it's Doc and Shart's turn. So who's gonna go first? I'm turning. <laughs> I'm turning. I'm raging. Rajay. You got it, dude. Get it. Do it. Save me. You ain't gonna do it. Being a big, strong man. It's what my mom calls me. <laughs> a what? A little big, strong man. <laughs> okay, so. Ugh, gross. <laughs> this is a weird session. <laughs> okay, so first attack is a, uh, a 21. We're only like uh, 21 20 minutes in, too. <laughs> And that's on Second attack is blue. a 20. Yeah, they both hit. Blech. Blech. And I raged as well. So, okay, cool. Uh, so I assumed. Eight. I mean, the fire damage isn't going to... Eight <laughs> and seven is 15 plus 14 is 29. And then uh, five points of fire damage. Okay. Mm -mm. It's piercing, bludgeoning, and slashing. Like all the physical. So, yeah. I'm sorry, how much was the bludgeoning? Uh, 29. 29. Okay. Plus... Five yeah. points of fire. Okay. And you just fucking whack into this thing, but you see that the fire kind of just envelops with the rest of the green fire. Oh, okay. Don't use that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> just feel the fire. But you see this giant crack in the side of its uh, in its skull. Uh, Thok. Oh, okay. What we do oh, to he's got the jacket the off. Business. What what space is that one in, exactly? Which one? The white like, one? Would he's, I, he's I be able to, like... He's kind of, like, get into in the four hallway? spaces yeah. at the same time. Okay. So I'll go into the hallway... Um, kind of like, I'll take the corner, it's fine. Okay, like, give yourself some, like, three-fourths corner cover. Uh, no, like, inside, with him. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, there. So they take up four spaces? No, I just... I just didn't know what spaces was, yeah. He's kind of to that one. Just boom, one. back. There you go. Yeah. And this one's um, here, I guess. Yeah. And as I'm there, I'm gonna take my fist and hit them together. Okay. And cast Turn Undead Ooh. 30 feet around me. You it's just like a giant fucker. boom. I hate you. Around me. <laughs> um, I hate you. You're dumb. 15 DCs wisdom saving throw. Oh my god. Uh, anything that's a CR1 that fails is automatically destroyed. A CR1 that fails? Okay. I don't know what that is. And then what's the, the fail as far as anything higher than this? Wisdom 15. So it's. Uh, it, it, it would, if they succeed, it doesn't affect them. Okay. So it's they got to beat a 15? Yes. Nah. <laughs> okay. So. Well, would that be just the one, or would that be all three of them? No, that it's would be 30. within it's, thirty it's feet. It's all of them. Yeah, the, any undead within thirty feet of me that can hear me or see me. Yeah. So um, it would affect all three. So mm -hmm. uh, if they. Oh, so let me just roll for all of them. Yeah. I just rolled for white. Yeah. Blue. Nah. <laughs> Black. Come on, baby. Nah. <laughs> if they Come are on, garbage. Cr one or lower, they're destroyed. If they nah. are cr. Or if they are more, then they are turned. For the next minute, they have to spend their action to run as far away from me as possible. If they cannot move away from me, they have to spend their action 
uh, fighting to you. To dodge. Okay. They can't attack. Dunsies. All they're doing is they're afraid of me, pretty Holy much. Fucking hell. So, <laughs> yeah. Who are you? Clerics. For the next ten rounds. I love you. For the uh, next ten rounds. I mean, the blue the blue guy's already like far away from you, so he's just gonna keep on moving towards you guys because it's his turn. Oh, so they're higher than us. But CR he can't. Attack. He can't attack. attack. He has, yeah, to, he has run. to keep. Yeah, running. he's gonna keep moving forward. Yep. Oh shit. So keep moving. Talk about opportunity, y'all. <laughs> That's my channel, Divinity. <laughs> One of them. Oh, this, dang. this is my TED Talk. <laughs> Thanks for coming to my TED Talk. Okay, so if you want to try to move him as far as he can, and you guys both have an attack of What's his uh his move speed? He's got a fly of forty. So and he hovers, so he can go over your head. He's like, but you can go. Yeah. So that's ten. Just take him to the wall. Well, I'll let you run because we, we both have an attack of opportunity, so I'm gonna take it. Let's see if you got it. Would we be at advantage since? No, I wouldn't be at advantage because he's next to me, so neither yeah. would he. Just try to eat it. Natural 19. Good. That's uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> for the for the long sword, it's a strength, right? Yeah. Uh, so that's going to be a 17. Yeah, you both hit. Cool. Uh, What's long sword not, damage? I don't even know what that is. <laughs> it's a 2d6. Okay. I think? No, it's a no, d8. No, that's a great sword. D8. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Long sword's d8. Uh, cool, cool, cool. What'd you get, Mike? 9, 15, 20... Um, 20 plus, uh, it's 28 points of damage. 11. It shatters as you guys kind of like Bash <laughs> Brothers it. And it just goes, Ksh! We're the Bash Brothers. Don't Bash Brothers. Team That's stream. a different game. Uh, okay. Um, Rufio and Absidy, it's your turn. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, ow! <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna check myself and make sure that I'm not on fire. You did get wrecked, though. Yeah, you no. did. You didn't check yourself before you wrecked yourself. I didn't. I, I got wrecked. Uh, <clears throat> so then I'll move uh, within ten feet of white. <laughs> well, just come on, man. Perfect. That's the same uh, and I'll take two attacks. I'll drop the the haunted moon touch longsword, and I'll unchain my scythe. And I'll take two attacks at that mofo. Okay. That's a natural 20. Ooh. Yeah. So, so we'll just roll that for now. And then we'll worry about other stuff in a minute. I can reroll both of those. That's better. Nine <coughs> plus two is 11. Plus three is 14. And six is 20. 21, 24, <laughs> 32, 33, 39 points of damage. All together? Yeah. That's just the first attack. That's the first attack. <laughs> Jesus. Keep. It looks pretty hot. <laughs> it's got a whole lot of ouchies. Oh, Ugh. damn it. It was a 19, and then it rolled to a 3. Oh, so he doesn't hit, but it's like, <laughs> if it had lungs, it would be like, come on, man. <laughs> it wasn't even me who did it. <laughs> I'm just whiving my wife. <laughs> uh, absolutely, it's your turn. <laughs> you sound like a little kid I know. Yeah, I run Supplies. up. Uh, <laughs> right, Supplies. I'm ghost space next to, yeah, just to attack. I'm the spirit well, if of you vengeance. If you want, you can get here. Yeah, because it can't nothing attack, like getting a <laughs> yeah. You have twenty five, right? Advantage, yeah. Cause yeah, it's might as well. Really hurt, and it has no reaction. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh my oh, yeah. god! I forgot to mention that too. It has Carlos no, is the 15. greatest ad no in the history. Fifteen hits. D &D. Fifteen hits. Yeah. All right. Get that sneak attack. I know he's like pretty close to dead, but yeah. fuck this guy. Six. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> he had one hit point left. Damn it. See, shatter. You got 39. He has 40. Damn it. He, oh, you are one point. Damn up. it. So how, how much um, How much did I use to get there? 25. 25. 25. Movement. Then I, I will dash <laughs> yeah. to get up to him again. To get Balake. Yeah. And All then right. just do my second attack. Yeah, go for it. Man. Do it. Fucking 14. This. 14. 14 hits. <laughs> That's good to know. Three. <laughs> he's dead. <laughs> just kidding. But he's like, the fuck, man? <laughs> I just got he's here. Like, God, I'm just a big flaming skull. I didn't do nothing. You came <laughs> to my home. I'm so scared. Listen here, you pieces of poop. 
Uh, let's see here. Casimir's going. All right, I, I'm pretty sure I can fireball it back, but I don't know if that's gonna if that's gonna help. Just stand back, sweetheart. It's fine. We got it. Uh, okay, and then it is Black's turn. Black is gonna go down the hole. <laughs> Run away. Do you have an attack of opportunity? Yeah, all right. I'll give it to you. Yeah, do I get a sneak attack on that? Yeah, if you can do a shit ton of damage. Sneak attack? You just no. attacked him. He knows you're there. You don't get sneak attack. You can't hide behind anything and go get. I'm hiding behind the flames coming off of his head. <laughs> I'm hiding behind your feel. Lawyer. <laughs> 20. Get? Yeah. Modded or natural? No, modded. Oh, oh shit. That been you're, mo you're all motherfuckers. That would have been awesome. It no, it wouldn't have been awesome, Carlos. Yeah, Eight. Been awesome. Eight? Okay. And you don't add anything to your rapier attack? Oh, I thought because opportunity uh, does opportunity get yeah the bonus it gets yeah, it's, your yeah, it gets main weapon whatever yeah. your main oh okay then uh thirteen as you do you have like an inkling in your head like I'll get you catch it next time <laughs> next time as it slinks in and you see the green fire kind of like dull out and lead forward okay let's move on. All right, guys, guys, before we go any further, uh, do we have any, like, some, just anything that we could just put over that hole? And Casimir's so? going to come over. He's like, maybe we should talk so fucking loud. I mean, they maybe we should put something over the hole. We already know we're here. Right? I want to know if Shard's whispers just like, maybe we should put something <laughs> <laughs> It's a uh, ghost, bro. I'm not one to be supped today. It didn't fly through me. It had to fly over me. Well, we so. stabbed it. Yeah. Dicks. What are we going to put over I, the hole. I'm just, I'm saying, okay? I have ball bearings. <laughs> I'm gonna walk out of this fucking room. <laughs> Where are you uh, no, I want to go into the, the other room that Shart and I were gonna go explore. Okay, so you're moving forward. Yeah. Okay, uh, so you're going through the Upper East Hall. Uh, glazed amber covers the walls of this 20-foot wide, 70-foot long arched corridor. The amber doors at both ends of the hall stand open. A closed door is in the middle east wall. And three arrow slits are cut into the wall across from it. Uh, cracks in the black marble floor run the length of the hall. Wait, say that so the arrow again? slits are... Cracked marble floors run okay. the length of the hall. Right no. so as, in, as in like... These are arrow slits here. This is like one, for example. I didn't like draw all of them. Mm -hmm. And then you have the doors over there. So that's the one at the end. And then there's... Sorry, there's one over here. And then you have uh, just fucking smashing all along there. Okay. Uh, gonna go in that room and roll a perception. Do you still have your servant? Uh, yeah. I didn't. Uh, he's. You didn't get attacked. No. So the the, the, the servant room. went into that room, or you guys? Kind I'll of send like him in now. I'll send You'll him. You'll send in. him in now. Yeah. Okay. As you as your servant goes in, you're like waiting, waiting. You hear the grinding of stone, and you hear a loud. <laughs> Their servant does not come back. Uh, While he's doing that, I want to investigate the, the cracks in the marble. Oh, okay. Go ahead and check those quacks. Yeah, baby, check those quacks. God damn. Four. Uh, nothing. Mm. Can I take a look at them? In the cracks? Yeah. Yeah. Would it be perception or investigation? It's investigation. Yeah, it's less helpful for me. Meat shield. Just six. <laughs> I'm keeping... <laughs> You're just like, man, these are cracks. <laughs> I'm keeping a lookout for both doors. I'm uh, like, this is whack, yo. Crack is whack. Watching Casimir. So, uh, I want to look... I don't want to walk in the room, but I want to push the door open. And, okay. and well, see. the door's already kind of open. Okay, so, so just, I, I just kind of want to stand so in the doorway. You want to kind of scooby do it? Then? Yeah. I want to stand in the doorway, and do I see, like, where there would have been an impact, or, or yeah. is there... So, let me give you some... Uh, Pay me, me a, pay me a word picture. I was going to say, how dark is it? Is he able to see anything? Or I have the, I, I, I would have picked up the long sword again. I'd be, that's, two, that's a 20 foot radius of dim light. So, <clears throat> the walls and ceiling in the eastern portion of this bare stone room have collapsed. Uh, to the west and south are amber open doors, so that's what you see there. Yeah. Uh, in the center of the room is a 10 foot stall tattoo, statue of a jackal headed warrior made of cracked amber. It turns its face to you. And it clenches its fist. <laughs> Might want to roll an initiative. Oh, <laughs> Let's roll for this one. I'm just going to put this one to the side. Is it a jackal? Is it a jackal? 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 It's mad. Actually, that's not my initiative <laughs> dice. <laughs> you and me. <laughs> you and I'm going to roll. I got 13. 19. Let's pull that stat out. 
so many encounters. <laughs> Goo. That's what a dungeon. I was gonna say we is. moved quick, so my rage is still active. Let's do. Because this is gonna be a very tight squeeze. That's what she said. <laughs> so we're just gonna kind of cut this in half, just so we can use the um, the grid. Yeah. Okay, so game plan. Yeah. Uh, I don't want to die. Uh, <laughs> no, no fucking shit. <laughs> uh, I'm probably going to get punched in the face. That That's isn't that bad. Probably going to. I tried it once. I tried it once. But then it's thick. Uh, Just move. You can move the right Yeah. Because they're not important at this moment. Uh, let's consider this narrow piece the hallway and then this the room. I know it's bigger than scale, but you. So it's for spacing. Yeah. Do you want to flatten it and just hang it off the edge? Yeah, that works a little bit better actually. So we'll put you here. Uh, there's you behind. Oh, we were next to each other. Yes, we're next to each other. Mm -hmm. Well, he went ahead a little. Check into gotcha. Peak. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah, only here. slight, but I did and peek. And then you guys are there. <laughs> the how far would you be in a bitch? Yeah, I was gonna say like, <laughs> how far would you say we are like so to about. get into the room? Oh, I think it's big. How about a, mm, I wouldn't say like a turn. Like, like thir a thir bit. thirty feet. It's really not. Give that He just uh kind of. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Holy <laughs> fuck, knuckles. Why did I bring stuff? <laughs> I mean, I already had one, but I figured I'd use one of yours instead of my cemetery golem. I just wanted to okay. like me, not so, kill me. I just wanted to have some fun. I wanted to play some D&D so and is, maybe not die again. This is what we're... This is the whole room? Mm hmm Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, shit. Uh, yeah. Uh... Okay, hold on. Let me, uh, roll their initiative. Okay. So he, is Casimir just sitting back yeah, out Casimir here? Casimir is hanging back. Okay, uh, 15 or above? 19. Okay, short. Uh, I got 16. Absidy. 10 or above? 10. <laughs> 5 or above? 5. <laughs> You know what, though? It's not always a bad thing for clerics to go last. It's not, because we're all dead, and then you're like, okay, everybody <laughs> get up. Who do I go to first? <laughs> Sharp, Bubba, you're up. <clears throat> well, my rage is still active. Uh, uh, bad, if you can go ahead and run me up there. I got 40 feet of movement. Oof. Got yeah. It. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You actually have five feet left. I mean, oh. If you want to, like, live inside him. Uh, I'm going to do this. Let's not live inside him. That's probably a bad call. <laughs> Uh, does a 26 hit? Uh, 26, yes, does it. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, that's the first attack. He checked, and I was afraid. <laughs> Natural 20. Oh. <laughs> Dead. So, <laughs> first attack does uh, uh, 18 points of damage on the Eight. first attack. Okay. And then we do 19, 25, and that's plus 8. So then that's 33 points of damage on the second hit. So they're both bludgeoning or slashing? Uh, this is uh, slashing because I'm using the Great Axe. Um, okay. So it's 18 and 19? No. 18 and 33. Eight, eight, 18, 18 and 33? 33, yeah. yeah. Okay. 51. Okay. You kind of just chunk and you just see Shark go, Kee! Doesn't really do much. Yeah, you made a really nice scratch. Oh, run away! <laughs> so we just gonna put that there. Tell me something good. Mm -hmm. oh, tell shit. me, tell me, and tell then, me. <clears throat> if I'm allowed to, uh, can... I tell what kind of thing this is. 
Uh, sure. Is it a statue, or is it like a thing? It's a statue of a thing. Okay. So would that be like a perception check? Or I a would say do or? like uh, do an arcana check, because <laughs> it's magical. Uh, I'm also in there. Can I also maybe know what it is? Yeah, sure. Do you want to roll separately or at advantage? Uh, probably, I mean... <laughs> I'm going to just roll. Yeah, I rolled Either a two. way, it's two rolls. I rolled a two. <laughs> You're like, that statue's moving. <laughs> no, I didn't know it. I'm going deep and dumb. Okay. So ten didn't help. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. Um, well, I'm going to charge on in there. All right, bud. I'll get right here. Okay. And I see it. I'm like, oh, that's a big thing. Um, yeah. Well, guess I'll shoot it. So I shoot it. With your crossbow? It's a short bow, but yes. Yeah, sure. 22. That hits. So, and a sneak attack because he's engaged with a uh, shart. Six, twelve, thirteen, fifteen plus seven, four. What did I say? Fifteen. Nineteen. Okay. Oh my god! We need to get the fuck out of here. And you just see. Oh, I as don't the, like this. As the arrow just kind of... You see it makes a, like a divot and just goes... Kee, kee. Okay. <laughs> it's Wufio's tone. <laughs> oh, God. Hey, guys. Uh, uh, Doc. <laughs> Doc. Doc. Uh, Doc. <laughs> Rufio, use fucking magic. <laughs> uh, I will... <sighs> uh, I'll use... For my first attack, I'll throw two Eldritch Blasts. Okay, Bubba. Uh, using fucking magic. 17. Okay, 17 hits. And uh, 16. Uh, 16 does not hit. Okay. Whew. So that's 14 points. Uh, and then uh, do I see, is, is that still like, does it kind of just hit it and whatever? No. You hit it and it, you see an impact. <laughs> As you said you did how much again? 14. 14? Okay. And then uh, if I saw it do decent enough damage, I'll throw two more Eldritch Blasts at it. Dope. Uh, That's a 14. Nope. That's a natural 18. Yeah. That'll hit. Uh, 11 points of damage. Okay. So 11 and 14? Yes. Cool. Good job. Thanks. You see little like... They're like softball size, but they're like they're they're making a dent. Okay, we are at fuck. Holy shit! How bad did you? Roll? Yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> Guys, let's not taunt him. <laughs> He's controlling the giant beast that's in front of you. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. I'm sorry. He uh, rolled a five. I was surprised. So I'm still like in the corner where I can see Casimir, right? Hell yeah. Um, I'm gonna be. I'm just gonna yell at him and be like, um, a little help, and then I'm gonna run forward. Go for it. And I'm assuming I'm gonna get kind of like where Absidy is. Okay. Because you're 30, right? 25. 25? Oh, mm-hmm. I'll give him one step forward. Um, I'm gonna take the mace and slam it up against my shield and cast Toll the Dead. Ooh. Uh, on him. You a motherfucker. Uh, <laughs> you dirty. I need a wisdom saving throw. 15, a wisdom? 15. You motherfucker. <laughs> but. Motherfucker. He has evangel safe and throws all spells and magic oh. attacks. Yeet! That's a good thing to know for next turn. <laughs> <laughs> Yeet! Natural 20. Oh! Gross. Okay. So uh, it doesn't affect or it does have to It doesn't affect. It's a cantrip. Okay. Um, so, so you see it just kind of tense up and this is a jackal-headed fucking golem, man. You're kind of shaking up. You're like, this is Anubis? Papa? Papa! Okay. No bonus action. No. That would have been badass. Um, so as you you say, Casimir, a little help. You hear a bellow, uh, duck. As he you see him start to like fire bend, and yeah. you see this giant fireball, and he's gonna shoot 150 feet out. Uh, he's gonna make <laughs> fireballs very far. That's why he, they yeah. weren't confirmed. Fireball or firebolt? He has fireball. Oh shit. Yeah. No, he's a motherfucker. When he shot but he just head. lies about all this. <laughs> you a dirty bitch. Shut your fuck. <laughs> You're in this. Well, area, he told me to duck. That's uh, warning, right? I can I can dodge out of there because he warned me. 
Um, <laughs> shut up. That's the DMs. <laughs> Man, shut up. Um, so it is. You know what? He has an advantage on saving throws. Yeah, against spells and other magical effects. Sorry. I thought it said strength for a second, but it was just saving throws. So he has advantage on his deck save. That's cocked. That's a three. <laughs> but he has advantage. Two. Fourteen. Plus. He's going to do it. I don't think it's gonna he doesn't have. Minus. Minus. He does. He has a minus. Okay. So let's do 8d6. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you guys got hit with. Uh, by the way, yeah, 8d6 yeah. of fire damage. Well, I'm still feeling oh, that, when by the, the skulls. Way. Yeah. They also have fireball. Oh, it gross. works out. Shit to the I was all ready to go. <laughs> so, that's... Uh, are you okay with me shaking again, Mike? I, I was, I was, I'm <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, I'll stand corrected. I did bad. Okay, so that is 27 points of fire damage. Yeah. <sighs> Straight fire damage, which is nice. It's so nice. It's a big hit. What? Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> it's somebody's turn. Um, okay. He does get a... Um, okay. He gets two attacks, and he's going to punch Shart really hard. I love you. <laughs> does a 12 hit? Nope. Okay. I rolled a natural two. Oh my god, he's a plus 10? Yeah. Does a 29 hit? Believe it or not, that will hit. <laughs> that <laughs> that is more than double my AC. <laughs> wow. So big, just gonna... It doesn't crit at 19, right? No, he okay. doesn't crit at 19. He's not someone. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Or someone's now. Loaded, loaded. <laughs> <laughs> so, one, two, three. Okay. We're just gonna... I told you I was sorry before we played this, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Okay, you take, um, I got to use the calculator. <laughs> That's just because I'm bad at math. You take 23 points of bludgeoning damage. Halved. Yup. To, to 12. That's a hot 12. <laughs> That's not as bad. Yeah, come on. Luckily, he rolled very poorly on the first one. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Okay. God, plus 10. I mean, mine's a plus 9. Hey, but, Shark, you're up, bro. Uh, I'm up. Yeah. Okay, so guy, <clears throat> I guess I'll use my weapon that has fire on it. <laughs> uh, that's um, a 15 first attack misses then. Yeah. That is a 24. 24 hits. Oh, welcome to the Amber Temple. What'd Literally all of them. Oh, no. <laughs> What'd you do? Uh, <laughs> not great. Give me the bludgeon damage first. Yeah, the bludgeon damage is going to be uh, plus seven. So that's going to be nine of bludgeon oh. and one of fire. Oh. I literally rolled three ones. Let's just oh. do this. Bad. That's so unfortunate. And you just see like a little... <laughs> <laughs> and Short's like... Uh, uh. <laughs> it's uh, Hab City's turn. Oh, shit. And you hear... Use it. I can't. You, they will die. Fuck. All right, so I, I run out. <laughs> don't be mad, don't be mad, don't be mad. <laughs> don't be mad, sorry guys. I come about here, and I do double Eldritch Blast right at him. Go ahead and roll your attacks. It's two separate ones, right? Yeah. yeah. So you roll basically. What's it look like? That 20. <laughs> oh, yeah. And a 13. And a 13? So it'd be nat 20 and 18. Those both hit. So oh, you see Absidy and he runs past and you see this kind of like hesitancy and this regret on his face as he sees Shark just kind of like, ow. <laughs> and just like my face. <laughs> you two are able to see it and he just kind of puts his hands out and you start seeing the smoke kind of like as these two dark, the only thing, way I can describe it is like black fire kind of ignite in his hands as he shoots off two blasts from his hands and they just... Give me your damage, bub. All right. Does that count as sneak attack? Yeah. I think sneak attack to or sneak attack only. He's engaged physical with stuff. No, I would, no, you can sneak attack on uh, uh, spells like that. Okay, so that's because warlock rogues are gross. Dope. So that's because uh, warlocks are gross. 
Nine plus I hate you. Is there a padlock, right? Fifteen. Mm -hmm. So nine plus fifteen. Nine plus fifteen, that's the first 24. one? Twenty-four. Well that's the first half of the first one. Cause I created Just give me the full fucking one. <laughs> well, I I'm not gonna remember. Okay, 24. buddy. Twenty-four, 24. plus what? Plus uh eight eleven. Yeah, eleven. So eleven. Thirty five. So thirty five, and then the second one is a <coughs> eight. He doesn't get sneak attack 43. on both. So get, forty three all together? Do I get sneak attack on both? No. Okay. Forty three. So forty three all together? Yeah. The first attack. That's the first attack. Right? You do attack twice. You can't attack twice. No, no, no I only not get yet. One. Yeah. Okay. So minus forty I'm sorry, what was it again? Forty three? Okay. Very palpable hit. So you see just these giant holes just kind of hit into it as it looks like it's slowed down. Rufio, witnessing it, you're up. Uh, out of sheer shock, uh, you know I like to I like to play the game as close to the, the book as possible. Close to the book. I would uh, I would say that Rufio is gonna have his next two attacks at disadvantage. Okay, because you're just in yeah. complete shock. And you can give me that. Unaware of yeah, what. Uh, you, know, you know I like me character-driven shit. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's a seven. No. Or I'm sorry, it's a nine. Oh, for my first. In that attack. case, no. I'm Eldridge blasting. Yeah, I'm yeah. Eldridge blasting. Uh, and that's a thirteen. No. Nah, dog. Oh so, wait, that was the first yeah, two. So, so go I'll ahead, do the other two. Do the other two. I'm rolling so well, and then I'm not. <laughs> that's a ten. Uh, sixteen. 16 does not hit. Okay. So you're just... And you... Confusion, fear, flop sweat, all of it is hitting you at the same time. And you just feel the searing heat in your chest. Uh, fuck. You up, boo. Uh, I'm going to quickly yell out, are we taking on this thing or are we running away? How? I mean... Kill it. Kill it. Okay. Kill it. So I'm going to... hope this works. I'm going to cast Ray of Enfeeblement Ooh. on what it. What does that do? Um, stand by, hold the shot. Okay. It, uh, it needs to do a spell save. Okay. Oh, no, wait. No, it's a spell attack. So okay, it's a spell attack? Yeah, it's a spell attack. So It's Ray of Enfeeblement? Correct. Okay. Uh, 15 plus 7, 22. 22 hits. 22 hits. Okay. I don't know what it is. Uh, a black beam of enervating energy springs out from your fingers to a creature within range, make a range spell attack blah, blah, blah. on a hit, the target deals only half damage with weapon attacks that uses strength until the end of the spell. So okay. for the next minute it, uh, all of its strength base is halved. Okay. Um, at the end of each of the target's turn, it can make a constitution saving throw against the spell on a succeed, uh, the spell ends. Two. Okay. Um, yeah. All right, and then Kathamia is going to try to fireball again. Uh, so we'll do a deck save again. Okay, that was a natural 20. Um, yeah, so it takes half damage. So we'll just do, uh, I'm sorry, four D6s, just so I can do max damage on that end. Never gonna get it, never gonna get it. Woo, 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 woo. I was excited for this one. Okay, so it takes that much. Okay. It's it's looking hot, guys, but it's it's torn. So it starts with a con save then before it attacks, correct? Uh, or is that at the end of its turn? I think it's at the end of its turn. <coughs> at the end of each, yeah. Okay, again. so it's strength is halved. Or strength, strength based strength, weapons are halved. Strength based attacks are halved. Okay. Uh, damage is halved. Okay, so that means if it's you, almost like you have resistance. So it's like so I'm quartered then. Yeah, it's tight. So its eyes lock with your shark, and you see this glowing red behind it. I need you to roll a wisdom save for me. Oh, fuck! <laughs> I thought save. it could only a punch. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <Yeah>. shit. <laughs> I figured it was only strength. That's what we thought. Nah, boo. It done more. Uh, fuck, I'm smart. <laughs> you pretty though. <laughs> I'm not pretty either. You are. You pretty. <laughs> You're pretty to someone. <laughs> to someone. The face a mother could love. What did you get? A seven. <laughs> oh. Okay. So for the next minute, so ten rounds, uh, you can't use your reactions. Your speeds are halved, and you can't make more than one attack per turn. 
Uh, in addition, uh, you can take either an action or a bonus action on your turn, not both. Uh, and they last, yeah, for a minute. Is he slowed? Yes, he is. Yep, and uh, you can repeat the saving throw at the end of each of your turns. Uh, and then, obviously, you get a success. You're good. So, that's, that's going to be the turn. So, uh, con save. Con save. For Ray of Feebleness. Yeet! Wow, hold on. That was, uh, what was the save? 15. 15, okay. Did he save? We don't know. You'll find out if it hits you. Okay. It's your turn. It's a uh, short turn. Oh, it's my turn. <clears throat> yeah, my B. Uh, yeah, your B. Uh, that'll be an 18. Uh, 18. Or, sorry, a 20. 20 to hit. Yeah. You got it, Mike. Place is a Not poison. all ones this time. So that's going to be seven plus uh, seven plus seven, 14 of bludgeoning mm -hmm. and three of fire. Okay. Uh, it is Absidy's turn. Okay. Uh, I do the same thing. Okay. Go ahead. It is 16 and 14. Nope. And in your, like, you're like, oh my god, I'm doing it, I'm doing it. And you're just kind of bypassing. Uh, Seeing that, Rufio, it's your turn. Uh are you still disadvantaged? I I mean, I don't I don't know. I that's still, what I was gonna kinda are talk you still to you. shooketh? I don't know if I'm shooketh anymore. Or you're more angry. I think I think now it's um it's just a uh yeah, I would say that he's he's a little a little pissy now. And now seeing Absidy doing stuff, he's going to want to do stuff too. So, I mean, I'll roll back normal if the DM thinks that that's appropriate. Yeah, you can do a straight roll. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, I'll fire two Eldritch Blasts. Yeah. Uh, that's not going to do it. That's an 11. Nah. Uh, that's a natural 15, so that would be 22. Okay. Uh, and then I'll fire two more. That's not going to do it. That's a 13. That's a 15. 15 does not hit. So only one collect. Hit. That's fine. <laughs> Is it? No. That's nine. Nine? How do you yeah. want to kill it? Uh, I want to just blast the head straight off. Okay. Doing so, it just shatters, and the rest of this amber golem just kind of cracks as it breaks to the ground. Uh, I think that's a good bookmark. With that... We'll end this round and this session. Cool. Neat. <laughs> so get ready for a lot of character development next session. Yeah. <laughs> what uh, the French toast, guys? <laughs> uh, well, like, comment, subscribe. Um, I'm going to call you a lint licker. He's going to call me a lint licker. And, yeah, I'm going to water my plant. Yeah, hit us up on the gram, <laughs> you know? <laughs> water my plant? Yeah, I just saw it in the corner. I feel like I should probably take it care of it. It's a little yeah. sad. It's a little uh, sad, yeah. And make sure to check out our gram, actually, because we're going to post some more of uh, Carlos's uh, art that he did for our characters and stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, I like to call uh, it so fart. Check that out. Art. <laughs> we're going to post some more fart of you Shart to, You're going to see my fart I can't on wait. Instagram. <laughs> we're going to have all, all the fart on Instagram. <laughs> I like having my eyes really close to the fart. Love you. Pink eye.